Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. That is because in this video, we're taking my 204 Ruger versus some prairie dogs. I had an incredible time this week. This, out of everything I brought, was my favorite rig. Let me show you this rig, then we're gonna get right to the good part. Me and some of my buddies catching prairie dogs with 204 Ruger. If you're going after some prairie dogs, let me tell you, 204 Ruger is the ticket. Check it out. You can tell from the side right there, this is my Ruger American. And can we even zoom in there? This is my Ruger American in 204 Ruger. I've got it dropped in an Oryx chassis, or chassis, which makes it look even cooler and fling the blue lights even better. On top, I've got a really nice black count on top of it. Two to 12 zoomies ended up being perfect for what we did all week. And on the end, I have my Banish Backcountry Shusher Machine. Super lightweight, super small. Doesn't add that much weight to your rig, but makes it super quiet. Uh, but let me pop up a picture right here of everything I was flinging out of this baby. Super, super sweet. It did an awesome job. Today's video was brought to you by Caldwell Shooting Supplies. Whether you need a new rest, some bags, a new bipod, some steel targets. They got some really cool steel targets coming out. Or even their new clay target slinger. They're calling the Claymore. Their new flashbang target LED light up thing. It's pretty awesome. Go check out Caldwell Shooting Supplies for all this stuff and more. All right, now let's get to that footage you've all been waiting for. Me meeting up with some prairie dogs and this 204 Ruger. Check it out. This one right here is 204 Ruger American. We got a dude at about 75 yards or so. All right. Here we go, 204 Ruger. 32 Grainer. Oh now, where'd he at? Oh, I see. There he is. Hold up, so he's sitting up on the mound? Yep. Oh yeah. You're mine, buddy. Got him! Oh yes, sir. That's a perfect shot. 204, baby. I'm on him. Smoke him right now, Bailey. Just right. He's still there. His head sticking up. There he is. Oop. <laughs> See about his top half now. Mm -hmm. All right. Got him. All right, I got him. He just crouched down, but he's still right there. Smoke him. Didn't see it, must have gone over him though. He's still there. He's right by, he's there. He's in the flower, he's, there's a flower right in the middle of the hole, he's sticking his head up. Yep. Got him. There's still two there. Good shot. Good shot. Smoke both of those. Oh, that was 204 Ruger. 204 Ruger. 204 Ruger. 
awesome choice if you ever go after chasing some prairie dogs highly recommend 204 ruger this entire setup was a laser all right so i said it right there while i was in wyoming 204 ruger is a laser beam that thing is incredible my buddy box who's hunting there with me he had a 204 ruger too in an ar platform if you're going chasing some prairie dogs I highly recommend 204 Ruger. I took a 22250 with me as well, and also a 223. Those were fantastic in and of themselves. But me, my personal opinion, after the one time of me going furry dog hunting, 204 Ruger is the ticket. My Ruger American, you saw in the video, did a fantastic job. Let me tell you, you saw that footage there. I wish I had a hundred of them, but at the end of the day, I said, look, I gotta get off this camera and get to slinging some more bow lights because they're everywhere. But did get some of that footage of the 204 Ruger. You guys saw it in the footage. It does a real good job off those prairie dogs. But why? One of the main reasons I say why it's a fantastic job. One, the 32 grainers, they're going over 4,200 feet per second. That speed on those varmint bow lights, they hit and they. You guys saw it in the footage, but also why it's an awesome, awesome option. I said it's a laser beam because it has almost no drop. I, I Almost no drop at distances where you're most likely going to be popping prairie dogs. You guys know I sight in everything at 100 yards. Let me show you a snippet of a drop test I did with my 204 Ruger a little while back. If you want to see this full video, go check it out. But here's a little snippet of why it's a laser beam. Almost no drop between 100 yards and 200 yards. Check this out. Now here's the, the 32 grainers. We did a five shot group here. But look at where the average hit is, guys. So for this group, we have one flyer way out here, but that's a that's probably a point uh, three quarters of an inch group there with the 32 grainers. I'm gonna mark the average hit here. We'll make that purple dot the average, and then draw a line over here. So there is our average hit out of that group. And it might actually be a little bit higher, but we're gonna roll with it. And then the 40 grainers. Look at how it grouped. Interestingly enough, the 40 grainers. Um, did not group as well as the 32 grainers, but we're concerned with the drop in this video. So the average hit of these is probably close to that hole right there. So I'm gonna circle that hole, big old purple. Test shows about a one inch drop. So pretty cool, huh? 204 Ruger, over 4,000 feet per second in most loadings. And those varmint bow lots do a fantastic job of the varmints. That same um, loading in 22250, those AccuTip Vs I took two white tail with last year. Pretty cool. Those videos are up as well. But hey guys, appreciate you watching the video. Like I said, probably five times already, 204 Ruger. I highly recommend it if you're catching some prairie dogs. Appreciate y'all watching. Again, a huge thanks to Caldwell for sponsoring this video. You guys know I've used Caldwell stuff for many, many years, probably in hundreds of, of our videos. Don't forget to go check out hootiehoo.com. Check out the blogs on there. Make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter. And even check out the merch page for stuff like this True Timber Hootie Hoo hat. But hey, appreciate y'all. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo! There's still two there. Good shot. Good shot. Smoke both of those. Oh, that was 204 Ruger, 204 Ruger.